come back. Today is new bike day. The good news for me is Specialized puts it like halfway together, which is great news because I don't have all the tools I need to put it together completely. So this should be mostly put together. All right, that's a good touch. Torque wrench, sick. Wheels out. Let's turn that around. Dang, those are nice. <laughs> Thick ass zip ties. There we go. There we go. This can be removed immediately. Dang. Man, this thing is sick. <laughs> She's all put together. That was really easy process, to be honest. I like that. Otherwise, if I'd put it together one by one, piece by piece, it would have taken me several days. And I would have had to buy a bunch of tools that I don't have. Buddy wants to go inside. You wanna go inside, buddy? It's too hot out here for you. All right, buddy distracted me and I forgot to film the outro, so I'm doing it a couple days later. I kind of wanted to talk about why I went with this bike and how I chose it. And I think a good place to start with that is to look at my last bike, which is this 2021 Scott Spark 970. This has 130 mil in the front and 120 mil in the back. And this bike has been really good to me, honestly. It, it's gotten me to where I am now and it's really done a great job for what it is. It's just a low travel trail bike and it's been awesome. So when I lo started looking at getting a new bike, I wanted to go with the most suspension that I could reasonably get because I wanted to fit both ends of the spectrum. You know, if I want to go ride some mellow trails, I can take this bike. And if I want to go ride some gnarlier stuff like wind rock or anything i mean this guy this bike's super capable anyway i can ride this bike so i don't know i didn't want to get like a 150 travel bike and be left wondering man what if i went up like 20 more you know i felt like this was a good addition to my quiver if you will you know i've got two different bikes for two different styles chill trail and heavy enduro so that's sort of where the decision came from and i'm happy that i did it i've ridden it a couple times so far and it's absolutely sick it's so fun um 
it's going to be hard to keep riding this bike when I have the opportunity to because that one is so fun to ride. So anyway, additional info to the story is I was looking at used bikes and I was looking on Pro's Closet and I found some really good ones. And the main one I was looking at was a brand new S-Works, just the upgraded of this. And it had only been ridden for like 100 miles or something, said the Pro's Closet guy. And the fork was upgraded to a 180 mil and the brakes had been swapped out. So I was looking at that, it was 6,600 bucks. And I was like, man, like this S-Works is sick, but it had been spec down to the expert level. And it was the same price and it was used and it, no frame warranty. So I'm like, why would I, why would I buy this S-Works when the expert model is cheaper, barely, and brand new and I get the frame warranty. So I started looking on that website and it turns out there was an S2, the size, an S2 for me. And I just hopped on it quick. Like it happened in like three days. I was just browsing the internet looking for one. And then I saw that this one was available and something about it just, I just went for it. So anyway, easily the nicest thing I've ever bought for myself. And it has been so fun to ride so far. It looks so brown on the internet and it's pretty brown in person too, but there's way more of like a bronze, like a dark bronze. It just looks so awesome. So anyway, that's sort of why I went with it, just cause, you know, I get one end of the spectrum here and the other end of the spectrum here. And I'm gonna have to make myself keep riding this bike cause, you know, I can't just leave it to, leave it to die in the garage. So. so anyway, that's why I chose it. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.